it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. In this video, I want to show you how to make some really easy Play-Doh using a salt dough recipe. This is a great activity for kids, especially during the summer. In fact, I used to play with this stuff when I was a kid, and you only need a few ingredients from the kitchen. Before we start, if you are new here, subscribe to my channel, Sea Lemon. I make a lot of DIY videos, and if you haven't already, Follow me on my social links. I post a lot of updates and behind the scenes kind of stuff on there. Okay, so here is how to make this really easy Play-Doh. In a bowl, mix one cup of flour, half cup of salt, and gradually stir in a half cup of water. If this mixture gets too dry, maybe there's too much flour, just add some water. When it's all mixed together, then you can knead it with your hands. If the dough starts to get too sticky, just add some flour. After you knead it, it should look something like this and you can stop there and just use this as your Play-Doh. Or if you want to add some color to it, you can divide it into sections like this and add different colors to each with food color. You can add about five to 10 drops and it helps to shape the area in the middle to hold the color. Then knead the dough to mix the color in. This process does get messy, and if you find food color is too hard to wash off, you might want to try a washable paint instead. You can also mix in the color while you're making the dough in the bowl. If you want to keep each color separate, it helps to wash your hands before you move on to the next color. And that's pretty much it. You can play with it just how you do with Play-Doh, and if you want to keep it from drying out, just put it into a bag. You can keep your Play-Doh in a bag and even store it in the refrigerator to make it last a little longer, but it will only last up to about four weeks. It does expire due to what it's made out of. If you want to preserve what you make out of this Play-Doh, you can actually make it permanent by baking it. And that's what I used to do when I was a kid. We would make little sculptures or objects and bake them to make them permanent. If you want to try that out, I will put the baking instructions in the video description below, so you can find that down there. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'd love to see what you guys make out of your Play-Doh, so be sure to share those on my social links along here. It should be like right here, on there. Um, you can check out these other videos if you liked this video, and I will see you guys next time.